Hi, I'm Chad with Take One Film and Video here in Nashville, Tennessee, and thanks for joining us back here today. Well, here we are in our install room, and we're getting ready to put these Ikigami cameras in. I'm really excited about Ikigami because 20 years ago, I started my broadcast career learning and training on Ikigami cameras. So it's exciting to be able to not only get to put these in a new system, but to be able to talk to you and share this with you as well. So let's jump right in here and talk about the HD 300. Before we do, I also want to mention we're actually shooting this video on an HD 300. So you can actually kind of see the quality of the picture that we're talking about here. So let's jump in and take a look. Now, first of all, the, the thing that struck me most about this camera was how it's built just like their higher end cameras. This is a little more on the affordable range but there are a few compromises. So let's talk about that. First of all, we get a really sturdy body. Uh, we get a uh, aluminum, machined aluminum mount for your eyepiece viewfinder, which this camera doesn't have. Uh, some of the other manufacturers actually uh, compromise on that, put some plastic parts and they break and fall off. They don't really hold up and not as durable. Ikigami doesn't compromise on that end at all. I love that about it. Uh, on the back side, the inner, the controls, the buttons, everything looks exactly like it does on their higher end cameras. So if you're used to that, if you've been working on broadcast trucks with Ikigami cameras, you're going to jump right in here on these cameras and be right at home. Um, now this camera does have one third inch mount lenses. That's really not a big deal. If you already have two third inch lenses or want to utilize two third inch lenses, all you have to do is buy an adapter. Pops right on. It's really simple. Uh, the only Compromise in, in using an adapter is that your image is a little bit tighter than it normally would be, but really not a big deal. Uh, it has three one third inch CMOS, CMOS sensors. Now, the CMOS sensors are fantastic because these in particular give you an F10 sensitivity, 58 dB signal to noise ratio. Now, all that means is that this camera is going to work fantastic in low light and it's going to be really clean. You're going to have a nice clean picture. You can actually add some gain in the camera without getting a lot of the graininess and things that you've seen in other cameras. So very clean, very great in low light. Now on this camera in particular, you have to stick with standard formats. It doesn't do 24p, 30p, but it will do all your standards. It'll do 1080i, it'll do 720p, and it'll do 480i. 480i is good, it's standard definition, but if you're already in a system that you're needing to upgrade but need to do it in phases, go ahead and get the Ikigami camera because you can still be shooting in 480, and, as you, and when you're ready to upgrade to HD, your cameras are already be HD ready. You're good to go. It has ND filters, just like pro cameras do. It has digital color correction. Um, it has uh, lots of different options for RCPs, for video. Uh, but the thing that I like really about these cameras is that Ikigami gives you the flexibility to uh, have different types of connectivity. So say that you're already in a facility that uses Triax and you don't want to make the investment to pull new cable and to do all that, you can actually use these cameras and get a different back. It's a digital triax back and you can utilize your existing cable. Now of course with HD cameras it's always best to do fiber if you can but you even have options there as well. Uh, right here this system uses an optical con duo. It's two fibers with power all down run cam one uh, cable. This goes directly to your CCU. You also have the option of doing single mode fiber and powering your camera locally. Now in that option you can actually extend your fiber up to 10 kilometers and if you ever have a need to do that. Uh, otherwise the optical con duos, triax, whatever you need, Ikigami's got the solution to help you adapt to your situation, to your facility in the most cost-effective way possible. We could take a look here on the back very quickly. We have all the controls like we said that you would see on the higher end cameras. Lots of uh, SDI outputs. You even have analog outputs where you can hook up a prompter, you can hook up external monitors, and a fantastic viewfinder here where as you adjust the, the focus, it'll add a little square gray windows you see here. And what that does, it really gives you a lot of extra pop and you can configure it to have different colors will pop out at you so that you as an operator will know when your camera's in, in perfect focus. There are so many other features about this camera that we just don't have time to get into on in this video, but if you think this is a camera that would serve you well, give us a call. We would love to share with you more information about this camera here at Take One. Give us a shout, 1-877-81-TAKE-1 is our number. You can also email us at mail at takeone.tv. Well, thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us today. We look forward to seeing you back again soon.